Blake Oak Sound. So, if this is clipped, yep. they're all chipped? Yeah, that means they have a chip. Because they're, they're all born with antipole spins. Right, right, right. So the stalkers, off. they get clipped, yeah? Yeah, 100% of the king salmon that are stocks get clipped. Nice. Not all the cohos or rainbows get clipped, but all the kings do. So if you catch one with the fin, that means it's a wild king. So they can naturally reproduce actually? Uh, not in this river. Right, that's, that's what I was thinking. He's right at 20 and a half pounds. 20 and a half? Yeah. I bet that was a lot of fun. Uh, oh yeah, on the fly rod that was pretty crazy. Yeah. He was yelling from, we were up in the parking lot and he was yelling for us to come down. <laughs> Would you get him on an egg sack? No, it's uh, oh, on a woolly bugger, yeah. Woolly bugger. Nice. 20 and a half pounds. biggest one I've seen out of the river. Somebody told me they got a 34 pounder, I don't believe it. Nah, I wouldn't believe that. They haven't even, um, they haven't even found a 34 pounder in the weir yet. So okay. So they said they got it above the river. Right, right, the there's line. no way, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I was, I was asking him, is it 34 pounds or 34 inches? You know, I kind of, you know, wanted to see that oh, part. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, because a 34 inch, I could believe, you know. Yeah. If it's a skinnier one, yeah. I know. <laughs> I grabbed him by the tail because <laughs> he couldn't get to the net. So how long is he? Uh, yeah, I take my measurements. Огромный живот чуть-чуть. Yes or nothing, but it's uh, it's just a coded wire tag. There's a number on it, and that number just tells them like when and where this fish was stocked. And so when they pull it out and they look at that number, they can tell if this fish was stocked here. In right. The if it came to the same yeah. river or if right. It, so okay. if it came back or if it was from somewhere else. So it was 39 and a half inches. Set? Yep. And 20 and a half pounds. Yep. And then the um. So if you ever catch a fish, oh geez, this will be hard. So if you catch another king with an adipose only tag, okay, and uh, 
like I'm not here or something, I don't see it. You can take this head off yourself. And send it in or just read yeah, the number? And, yeah, I can, can, I can probably not read the number. You can um, go to Court and Dick's Ace Hardware and they take the heads for us and they'll hold on to them. Okay. And they'll have you fill out paperwork for it and stuff and like, you know, weigh it and measure it how big it was and that. So you can still turn them in if you want to. Right, right, so you can feel, still get. And if you like give them your email address and stuff, they'll send you information about it for fish too. Nice. Oh, good to know. Yeah. So all of the ones that are with a clip adipose fin have those chips in yeah, it? Yeah, adipose only. If, it, if that's the only fin clipped, then okay. it has... Otherwise they have it. one of the... One of the dorsals, yeah or no? Well, yeah. If they if this is clipped, like their ventral fin and, and their adipose, it doesn't have a CWT tag. Okay. That's just to identify a strain, like you know, like the the brown trout. There's two different strains. Or the lake trout. Yeah. Or the lake, always. Yeah. Well, like. actually, the lake trout. All of them, all the stocked lake trout have clipped adipose fins too. Okay. Yep. Well, that was cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. No Don't forget to subscribe. Zua, I'm a good Zua. Oh, you just make a big mess. Hey, how are you? I'm a muskie. I'm a muskie. I'm a muskie.